Our next inductee is both an accomplished amateur and professional golfer, PJ professional Kirk Hannafeld. He's going to be introduced by longtime friend Peter Harity. In 1974, the New Hampshire Amateur Championship was hosted by the Beaver Meadow Golf Club in Concord. For the first time in more than 10 tries, that year I made it to the finals. In the final match of 1974, I'd be playing a young 18-year-old who had already accomplished an impressive record as a junior golfer. 1971, 72, 73, New Hampshire Junior Champion. 1973, New Hampshire High School Champion. 1973, New England Junior Champion. Most impressive record, but beyond that, I was even more aware of how much of a challenge I'd be facing on that Saturday in July of 1974. You see, that young player was also my clubmate. I'd watched him grow up, saw the fir firsthand his talent, his commitment, and his dedication to the game. In short, I knew he could really play. Although a close match, not surprisingly, I lost that day. My young opponent notched his first state amateur title, and he was on his way to much bigger things. In 1976, he again won the New Hampshire Amateur. In 1977, added the New England Amateur title. That same year, made it to the round of 32 in the U.S. Amateur. In 1978, after playing collegiate golf and as a scholarship player at the University of Houston, he turned professional and his winning ways continued. 1982, New Hampshire Open champion. 1998, Rhode Island Open champion. 2000, 2001, 2003, New England PGA champion. 2003, Maine Open champion. 2005, Maine and Rhode Island Open champion. 2008 and 2011, senior PGA professional national champion. 2015, New England PGA senior champion. In 1990, while, while serving as the head golf professional at Salem Country Club, he was the only club <coughs> pro to qualify for both the US Open and the PGA Championship. When he turned age 50, he qualified to play the PGA Senior Tour, now the PGA Tour Champions, where he has played in 71 official events. Between the PGA Tour and the PGA Tour Champions, he has now played in 28 major championships. 29, my apology. And he continues to perform at a championship level even today. In 2018, he again won the PGA, I'm sorry, he played in PGA Tour Champions events and again won the New England PGA Senior Championship. And as the oldest player in the field and playing against the Young Bombers, finished third in this year's New England PGA Championship. I am truly honored to be here this evening to introduce to you my longtime friend and one of the very best ball strikers I've ever known. I give to you Kirk Hannafeld. Following, uh, following Pat Bradley is a, a, bit of a, a bit of a challenge. I can remember playing one year in San Antonio uh, paired with uh, Sandy Lyle and standing on the first tee there going through the introductions and of course, Sandy winning, winning Masters and Players Championships and so on and so forth. And then they got to me, and he said, Kirk Hannafelt from Massachusetts, and that was about it. <laughs> <coughs> Peter, thank you for those kind words. Peter and I go a long ways back. Played a lot of golf with Peter back in the 70s and 80s uh, at Rochester Country Club. Before I say a few words, I want to recognize my parents, both of whom are 91. Initially, they thought they might be here tonight, but didn't quite happen. However, my wife Kathleen is here, sitting right over there, table 16. And I want to thank her for her unwavering and continued support of, and encouragement of me in my career. I share this award with all of them tonight. I'd also like to congratulate all of the Hall of Fame inductees tonight for their contributions to the game and for the impressive list of lifelong achievements 
that they've made in this great game of golf, many of whom I've had great admiration for as I was developing as a golfer earlier in my career. I finally look back at my junior golf days in New Hampshire growing up in Summersworth and learning to play the game at Rochester Country Club. I played all sports, baseball, football, basketball, up until about the age of 14, but stopped playing those sports because at 5'4 and 110 pounds, I was getting the crap beat out of me. <laughs> so I concentrated on playing golf, where size really wasn't much, much of an issue. I recall one of my first junior amateur championships played at Amherst Country Club when I was 15 years old. I'd never broken 80 in a tournament prior to that event, but shot 76 in qualifying for the match play portion and subsequently went on to win, winning three matches against kids that were older, stronger, and longer. Now at the age of 62, I still like to compete, but now I compete with kids who are younger, stronger, and longer. <laughs> After my college career at the University of Houston, I gave it my best shot, three times in fact, to try to play on the PGA Tour. All three times I came close, all three times I was unsuccessful, I simply was not good enough. Over the next 25 years or so, I proudly, proudly served the memberships at Salem Country Club in Peabody, Mass, and the International Golf Club in Bolton, Mass, as head golf professional and director of golf. At the age of 50, I tried giving it another shot at playing with the best players in the world, this time having some success finishing second at the Champions Tour Tour School over two stages and over 10 rounds of golf. Not knowing whether I was good enough to play with those guys or how long it would last, I am happy to say and grateful to have played in 71 senior tour events, including 29 major championships. I finally fulfilled my dream of competing at the highest level. To the parents out there that have sons or daughters who either play the game or may be interested in starting to play, my only words would be is to not push them, but to encourage them and to support them because you never know where this game may take them. It's a thrill for me to be here tonight and an honor to be included in the inaugural class of the New Hampshire Golf Association Hall of Fame. Thank you.